it is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below wow you're bored at work but you're just not putting the effort you just want things to fall into your lap that's either a repetitive job okay something that you're doing it's monotonous it's boring and you're fed up with it and you're just repeating the same cycle again and again and you're just getting nowhere or you're just not putting in the work into something i'm getting more as boredom three of pentacles right now things look okay you're working well with your colleagues it's the challenge in friends self-doubt that's a lot of self-doubt that's a lot of i don't know if i can make things happen well, things look okay right now with the three of pentacles here yeah, this could be a collaboration or this just could be you working on projects with people okay but you're getting along with everyone things look pretty good <coughs> your biggest challenge or influence is the magician in reverse which means that either there is someone who's very very manipulative around you or this is just you who's um doesn't have the willingness the the, the skills or the abilities to make shit happen around you okay It could be an opportunity or you were very focused on something in the past year. Knight of Swords is a very focused, very determined energy, okay? There could be some opportunities that were coming in and you were ready to, you know, take them out one by one. But yeah, that's a very aggressive energy. And your mind, you probably want to go back to working or doing something that you were doing in the past year. <coughs> that's the energy of going back to doing what you always did or you just missed you just miss the way you used to be in your past career or business okay but you definitely want to go back to what you were always doing because this is not working out for you your current scenario see you just like that's like stepped out right like can i make it happen here hmm. you're going to be presented with two choices you're going to have to make a very head over heart decision there are two choices that are going to be presented to you don't make an emotional choice see to it that whatever choice you make is going to be very good for you but along with that don't do something with emotions do something which makes sense to you and something that is going to be okay for you in the long run okay but because that's like choices between two very very um contradictory careers or just between two careers which are completely you know like um you have to probably choose whether you want to stay i'm getting you want to you want to choose whether you want to stay <coughs> uh, continuing in this in this present career which probably gives you a lot of financial stability but you're just bored you don't like it anymore okay it's too monotonous or you want to go back to the work that you always did it could also be that whatever work you're doing it's been too monotonous and you're missing how this current work was in the past okay yeah We're taking action with the king of wands here so with the king of wands here i feel that you're definitely wanting to get into something new okay that's like a, that could be a new business or a new project or something like that so in the near future i feel there is like a new business or a new project that you want you know but this is more like you want a very challenging career you know right now something's not challenging you you know you're like a very determined person and i think that is this is your originality your uniqueness you know that novel approach you know where you're going to be very dedicated you know to whatever you're inventing okay there could be new product products you know or something new that you want to pursue but there's a new business that you're probably starting okay what you're doing right now is say that's what i'm saying page of wands in reverse here you're bored at whatever you're doing you're lacking that vigor lacking that determination lacking that uh, that spark you know you're just not happy or probably there is a new idea that you have but you're just not sure if it's going to work out in your environment with the knight of cups here i think you want to pursue something that makes you happy okay not only something i mean i think you have that tact that diplomacy you know you have that that thing in you to 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 approach a solution with um with that uh, creative solution okay and and being very uh, smart with it but i think with the knight of cups here you do have something I do feel with the Knight of Cups here, there is an offer coming in, and whatever offer is coming in, right? I think it's going to make you very, very happy. Okay, so there is something that you're wanting to pursue, and uh, could be a business proposal, could be a new project. Okay, but it's going to be something that's going to make you very happy. It's going to be emotionally very, very fulfilling for you. However, with the Two of Swords in Reverse here, I think that um, 
there is a decision that you need to make that you're so stuck either you don't have enough information about what you want to pursue or what you want to do or there's so much information that you have that now you're stuck even more but with the likely outcome here with ace of swords i think you're going to make a very logical decision okay there's a source of clarity okay but there is going to be logic that is going to be used in the in the decision that you make but you're going to be very clear and very focused about what you want let's see <laughs> um there's not much to clarify but let's just see um what's the lovers what's the lovers it's just seven of cups there are a lot of opportunities that are available to you or whatever new opportunity that you're wanting to pursue right this could be a lot of confusion around that career opportunities are open to you okay but the thing is that all of them are not meant for you okay you're going to be have to be very very practical and very logical about whatever decision you're going to make okay every cup looks good to you here but it's going to be up to you to make a very very good logistic logical decision using your head but yeah career opportunities are going to be open to you <coughs> don't get very confused okay that's all why is that of sorts in divorce why is it of sorts in divorce i think emotionally you are a little confused right now Two swords in reverse. Seven swords in reverse here. <coughs> something you're feeling guilty about. Definitely feeling guilty about something. I mean, deception is there for sure. Deception was done for sure, right? Maybe you were trying to run away from your present career, okay? And people don't know about it that you're trying to switch to a new job, or you've just been copping out from putting in the effort within your current career, okay? But yeah, you're feeling guilty about something, and that's why you're being indecisive. I think with the seven of swords in reverse, you also what is what is suggesting is that you are probably running with an idea, but that's not going to work, okay? Because you haven't thought it through properly, and you're just acting impulsively. That's why the two of swords in reverse here. <sighs> you need to stop in your tracks now and go back to the beginning of the plan, okay? Of your plan. If this plan either needs to be dumped. or it needs to be reworked okay but what it's saying overall in your emotions is either let go or stop hanging on to something okay do one thing you know it's like you know shut up or speak up something like that what says of sorts in the outcome what says of sorts in the outcome that is a logistic but there is a very logical decision that's going to be made Four of Pentacles in reverse. I guess you're letting go of this current job of yours. You're losing. You're you're letting go of. It could be a risky decision, but um, I think you're letting go of this job, which is very stable to you. Okay, you probably have deemed to be deemed this to be very stable, but you're letting it go. Okay, you're letting it go. Probably you're choosing your passion over your stability, which is okay. Which is okay. What's the King of Wands here? Because you're anyways bored here. What's the Page of Wands in reverse? What's the Page of Wands in reverse? Five of Swords. Mm. So with the Five of Swords here, that's what I was getting right. So the, I mean, that's the kind of conflict, you know, in your workplace, or which is very much on a mental and verbal level this time. Okay, arguments, tensions, you know, angry words flying here to there, bitterness, resentment, everything. All right. So yeah, that could be a group of team or group or team. who cannot work together okay or they just have a lot of personality clashes but there's a lot of manipulation around you and that's one of the reasons why you're just like you know what I'm done this is not something that I want to pursue anymore because again your biggest challenge out here is that probably you want to work out here three of pentacles you want to work your situation looks good but your challenge out here is that there is someone here who is very manipulative around you or this could just be you okay who's just not trying to do things the right way All right, you constantly feel the need to manipulate a situation, lie, deceive. You always have a trick up your sleeve. What's the magician in reverse? Why is this a blockage? Tower. <laughs> It's probably some kind of lesson that you need to learn. Okay, over the tower, you are probably trying to save your ass. The tower is something that's sudden, that's shocking, right? Something that shakes you up. 
Maybe you feel the need to save your job or your business and that's why you feel the need to manipulate people around. But the tower is a big shake up. Okay? It's like almost like a collapse of something which is not built on solid foundation. But yeah, whatever happens with the tower here, there are some lessons that you're going to learn. Until you don't learn the lessons, remember the lesson is going to keep coming. You're going to keep uh, getting that lesson over and over again till you don't learn it. And every single time you avoid it, the, the, the lesson is going to get even more tougher for you to learn. Okay, remember that. <clears throat> you're probably trying to avoid a disaster okay and you feel the need to be manipulative or feel the need to work around the situation instead of um having a very straightforward approach so again um again what i'm also getting is that you're feeling again very powerless in the situation okay there could be a lack of confidence or probably you're too confident all right you're probably acting just very cocky or just very overwhelmed by the task in front of you okay and you feel the need to lie you know and you could be probably very convincing at that okay but you're acting without giving much thought to the outcome <clears throat> and with the tower here i just feel uh that you're uh, either you're going to lose your job or your finance breaks off the engagement or you know your uh something like that okay but something's going to bring you down to earth if you continue doing what you're doing okay it's going to bring you down to earth with a bang so it is best for you to not resist it okay but you're not going to be able to outsmart it okay you are refusing to free yourself from an unsuitable situation or a belief system. Okay, you probably think manipulation is the right way to do it. But I don't think the universe is going to listen to you. Okay, change is bound and it is impossible to avoid. All right, so it's better you stop this manipulation right now. You're probably anyways in the power, anyways in the outcome, I see you letting go of something that you, you deem to be very, very stable. Okay, it's a big risk, but you're letting it go because you're losing your logic. It's not an emotional decision, it's a very logical decision because I guess you want to pursue something that you're very passionate passionate about, okay? Something with more, something that gives you more vigor, something that has more creativity around it, all right? Something more adventurous and that's what you're going to do. Anyways, you have an offer coming in, so that's good. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.